This video is sponsored by Brooklyn Bedding, the best RV mattresses out there. <laughs> Wrapping up our month in Portugal, Lisbon, Porto, the Algarve, Nazaré. Uh, that stock footage. This is how we actually saw it. Tiny little castle towns. Feels like some old medieval Game of Thrones shit right here. Great wine, kiosk culture, the nightlife, super bock, the food. Portugal has been so good to us, but we are so ready to get back to our rig. My God, that was the most nauseous I have ever been on a freaking train. At one point, they were going 210 kilometers per hour. The fastest roller coaster in the world goes 240 kilometers. Insane, freaking insane. Whoa. Where are we going now? I don't know yet. Food. Oh Ciao. Buddy nipping. <laughs> Very early start. I think I was half awake all night. <sighs> Back in Florida. Doesn't <laughs> feel the humidity. <laughs> and there she is. We back in a truck, y'all. It feels so American to be in this big ass truck. And the first thing we're gonna do is go through a drive through because that's American as hell, dude. We're committing. Oh, yeah, buddy. Great taste. Not the best for your health. <laughs> We come back to Florida and we're in a lightning storm. The sunset's beautiful and we have a damn frog in the back of our truck right now that sounds like a barking cat. Love this place. We're going to pick up our trailer right now and I'm nervous. Uh, this is the longest we've had it in storage and it's been sitting in that Florida heat and humidity for over a month, so we'll see. It's there. <laughs> no, it's not missing. That's good. Uh, I'm just hoping no mold, no spiders, no food. Like, uh, I'm hoping no rodents. No rodents. So I might as well back in, yeah? Yeah, I would. All right, first thing few webs under here, right there. Oh God. <laughs> There's not a hole in the tire though, this time. That's what I'm checking for. It's a nail. Get the good side of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give me the keys, can I just go in? I'm just really eager to see if it smells like mold or if we have. Did you put the towel on the ground? I did. Okay, <laughs> I was like, okay, it smells fine. Ooh. Is it full? Oh yeah, you see all the black stuff at the bottom? Oh. Feel it, feel how heavy it is. Yeah. Yeah, wow, it's pretty full. And then let's see over here. It honestly smells fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it smells like dryer sheets. Yeah, <laughs> So yeah, Nathan put these everywhere. Um, doesn't smell moldy. And now I'm, I'm really curious. Dear God, please. Oh, yes. All right, so that was a big thing. Oh, we did leave some food in this and technically something could smell it, but it doesn't look gonna, like anything. That's what I'm mostly worried about underneath there. Nope, the rodent stuff is there. It's not chewed through. 
from what I see, nothing. I mean, honestly, I feel like we're really gonna know in the next few days sleeping in here and seeing if we hear any noises, but I'm gonna check now for like rat poop and just go around and see if we see anything. Yeah, just checking to see. Ooh, that bathtub needs to be cleaned, dude. Oh, oh, okay. We got some like mold or something in here. No, I didn't check either. There's a light. Shit. You need a light. I know. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. This is so funny. Okay. It looks funny. Lots of alcohol, y'all. Lots of alcohol. We've only stored RV one other time, and that was in California, and we had it plugged in the entire two or three months that we were there. It was in the winter, so we didn't have to worry about like humidity or crazy heat. This time in Florida, our rig has been in 96% humidity with temperatures in the 90s and a ton of freaking rain. <laughs> just sitting here, no AC on because our AC unit, super old school and it's not automatic. It doesn't kick on when it notices it's hot and humid. We found an RV storage unit that was completely gated so we wouldn't worry about somebody coming in and damaging it or stealing it or something. They're very professional here. And the main thing, if you guys can see, is it's concrete. We're not in the grass. Uh, you may notice if you're an RVer that a lot of RV parks offer like very cheap RV storage but it's in the grass, in the dirt. Yeah, really happy that I didn't come back to our rig just like messed up. <laughs> Any water leaking or anything? I don't know. Okay, so we found a nest of some sorts. Looks like maybe a spider or a wasp nest. What is the yellow stuff called? That's just foam. Insulation, Insulation foam? foam yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh my God. What is that? Is that bees? Look at it. What is it? These ants. I don't know. Oh, it is ants, huh? Oh, f I hope we don't have a trailer. To the left a little bit. Stop. I think that works. That's good. Can he beat the storm? <laughs> Can he get hitched in five minutes or less before we get absolutely shat on? Get that friggin' nest, Lord. We hit you. We out this kitchen. We hit you. We hit you. We out this kitchen. Uh. <laughs> All right, so we gotta fill up our tires because their uh, their PSI is a little bit low. But thank goodness they got a, a nice little air refill. That's good. Stop. Stop. Right here. So we'll have this. This is sweet. I feel like I just put it on for two seconds and it's done. We're back to RV living, y'all. You got a freaking bug in my leg. We just got the trailer in our site. We're gonna be here for about 10 days or so. And um, we strategically booked a hotel for last night when we arrived and then again tonight. Just in case, God forbid, what if our AC wasn't working and we also knew that we wouldn't have clean sheets. Honestly, we could suck it up for a night, but uh, we just thought it would be smart to have the hotel. So right now we are going to unhitch. We're gonna clean the entire trailer. We're gonna double check to make sure there was nothing that we missed when we just picked it up. We're gonna get it all set up and then we're gonna go back to the hotel just for tonight. And then we really officially start RV living tomorrow, which we're really excited about because we have so many great plans 
And um, yeah, I just feel so grateful that we get the chance to come back to this truck, this baby, and our trailer. And it gives us the opportunity to like caravan around the United States. My goodness. <laughs> Florida for you. Yeah, so. I'm like in the heat baking right now, yeah. no rain, and then you hear that, and that's what's coming. So. Yeah, so that means we gotta be quick. Nathan's, <laughs> he's allergic to like dust and mold and all things grime, I don't know. So he wants to wipe every inch of the inside of the trailer and honestly, I'm not mad at it. I'm hoping that's dirt and not Fecal matter? I don't know. It's brown. Sweating already. Oh, see, they were smart. There's handles for me to pull this down if I'm a one man show. Ooh. Now this is a great time, now that we have clean sheets, to give you guys an update on the mattress itself. This mattress we got two months ago and we have been sleeping so freaking well, y'all, on it. It was obviously an upgrade from what we had before, but the quality of it has been incredible. Dude, the firmness level and also just this like pillow top, I don't know the exact words for it, but it's just comfy as hell. And it feels like a legit bed that you would have in your house. Also, I do like that, like how thick this is and how high it's rised up. And I even love, I just have to do a little hop to get up on it. Yeah, yeah. Also, another thing we don't really talk about with sponsors is that Brooklyn Bedding has been awesome to work with. They've just been super professional. We really trust them and trust their products and enjoy working with them and would recommend to our friends and family as well to purchase mattresses from them. They offer a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, it's made in America, and it has a 10 year warranty. So it's got all the bells and whistles and we're really happy with ours, like super, super happy with ours. One of the best upgrades that we've made. So if you're interested in this bed, go ahead and check out rvmattress.com slash onworldtravel and use our code for 20% off. <laughs> That'll hurt my hip. All right, put a half a scoop in each side, running it through the gray. Yeah. Just checking propane now. It's not working. I don't see spiders, that's good. Oh, clicked off again. Oh, yay! Do you have a mask for me? Oh my god. Do you have a mask for me, dude? No. Give me something. Give me something, dude. <laughs> It's, Hurry. it's so pungent. <laughs> dude, my eyes are burning. Oh, oh, I gotta get away, dude. Dude, we gotta get that professionally cleaned. It smells like a really off. Mm. Hurry. Don't ever. Dude, that's bad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're dirty hamsters, dude. Gotta get your pups up. <laughs>
and we're back to camp work life. Got our little citronella candle over here, camping chair, work setup, little high noon in the koozie because what else? And Nathan's in his little zero gravity hammock chair, looking like the little diva he is, reading. What you reading, boo? Just a World Atlas book. <laughs> Brushing up on my capitals. <laughs> What's the capital of Kenya? Oh, I got this, I got this. Is it Accra? <laughs> Accra? Or is that Ghana? That's Ghana. <laughs> oh, capital uh, of Norway. Oslo. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> Nairobi, Nairobi. You got it? You had to look it up. Anyways back to beautiful Florida evenings. The bugs are chirping, you can hear them, but no worries because we got our pika ridden insect impellent. So long, farewell, I'll be just saying goodnight. My God, it is hot as hell today. We've decided to work out outside, <laughs> get all hitched up and then shower. Good idea, instead of uh, getting on the road, just absolutely disgusting. But we are um, hitching up today to actually leave Florida for the first time since April, which is wild. We have been here so long. Nathan, are you ready for me? I have no idea how I was missing it. Oh, I'm pretty off. Dude, the backup camera, I love it. It's like simultaneously looking at the camera, looking at him, looking at the camera, looking at him. I think I nailed it. He's so cute. Oh, he's slow to move. Come on. Put him on. There he goes. Tally ho, Jerry. We're all hitched up. This place has been so special for us because we've been able to catch up on work for our channel, but also on the truck, on the trailer. We got to hang out with some friends we haven't seen in a while, but it's time for us to get back on the road. It's time for us to continue this loop, this second loop around the United States. I think I'm most excited for just for like constant novelty again. Moving around all the time, meeting new people because we have totally been in a routine here. So, uh, we're starting in a new place, one that is, I'll just give one hint, it's known for their food. So I literally just showered and I'm drenched, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I know, we tried. It's so ridiculous. Anyways. It's really pretty. Yeah. So babe, what'd you recently do? I lowered the hitch. Again. One more notch. <laughs> Finally get it right after the third try, I guess. But So this, these two were actually there. Yeah, we'll start it off at the top. Oh no, it started off upside down. <laughs> yeah. And then we fixed it back in New Mexico. Yep. And then I realized, you know, I was like, you know, I think it's still like one notch too high and there's only one lower. So I decided to move everything to the bottom and 
now it sits perfectly level. So. It was such a smooth ride. Yeah, and it's easier to hitch and unhitch, ironically, so. Yeah. Why did I wait till now? <laughs> Uh, melting! Double blast. Dude, super easy trip. Found a podcast, a true crime podcast. Might be my new thing. Made the drive go by so freaking fast. This campsite is super cute. It feels total like, am I gonna say Smoky Bear vibes? Very camping-esque. They got the water, everything's really green and the sites are pretty well spread out and we're near freaking Costco, which we're stoked about because we haven't had a Costco in months and you know what, it's a game changer for us. So um, <laughs> I've had a long day, um, but I'm really excited to be in South Carolina. All I know is I like this Southern draw. Sounds like maple syrup to the ears, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, anyways, well, I'm gonna get to sweeping and cleaning because God knows we need it.